Hey guys, it's Nicole, and today I'm gonna do a master board so that I can make some twinchies. Twinchies are similar to ATCs, but they're two inches by two inches. You may have also heard of inchies. Those are one inch by one inch. Those are a little too small for me. I don't find them as fun. So yeah, I like to go with twinchies. So I'm gonna do a bunch of colors that I'm just gonna glue down. Oh, I thought I was organized, but guess what? I'm not, sorry. Oh my goodness. Excuse the loud noise in the background. That would be my neighbor um, having yard service and some kind of power washing thing going on at the butt crack of dawn. You know what, I'm an early riser, but oh my gosh, having people start coming to your house at like 7 a.m. to use a pressure washer is so rude to do to your neighbors. Oh my God. Ugh. I thought there was like some kind of law, like you can't make noise before 10 a.m. or something like that. My husband always wants to mow the lawn at like nine on the weekend and I always tell him, no, that's so rude to do to your neighbors so I don't let him do it, but <sighs> apparently this neighbor doesn't care. Oh my goodness. It's so annoying. But didn't want to start this, <laughs> this video off with me complaining about my neighbors, but here we are. Oh my goodness. So, yesterday um, thank you guys all for your kind words about my dog again a friend of mine on posted on Facebook yesterday she has I don't want to say like too many details because she's kind of embarrassed by it but she has a pet she has three of them already and there was one she saw posted online for free and she felt bad she's like normally these are you know expensive animals why are they just giving it away for free I can give it a good home, I think I'll take it. And she's like, I should have known, I should have known there was a reason why they were giving this animal away for free. So the animal is doing really great at her house and all is good and she notices like something's just not right with her, this little, this little animal. And so she takes it to the vet and lo and behold, this animal has like issues in its stomach, like three, um, kind of like kid kidney stone kind of situation. So she has to have surgery today, this animal. So my friend is like, okay, of course, I get this free animal online and then it needs surgery and it's very expensive. So I told her, you know, I know it's expensive and that sucks, but I just want you to know, I think that's really great that you're giving this animal this pet a new life you know and a better life it's obviously been suffering for a long time and the previous owners didn't care I'm like but if it makes you feel any better I just spent like eight hundred dollars for my vet to tell me that my dog's fat and has gas so I was trying to make her laugh and I'm like if I didn't know any better I'd say uh, Sherman and I went to the same doctor pretty sure my doctor told me the same thing but yeah, so I feel bad for her, and she's like, ah, I wish I could just start a GoFundMe. I'm like, do it. I mean, if everybody gave like a dollar, you know, that would at least add up, or five bucks or something, you know. I feel bad for her. But she's such a caring person, and I'm just proud of her for being such a, such a good person to take on this animal and then pay for surgery like that, so kind of sounds like something that I might do not to toot my own horn but yeah I get it I get where she's coming from she's like private messaging me she's like I'm so embarrassed to say how much I'm spending on the surgery for this animal I'm like don't be you know you're a good human being it just is what it is what you do with your money is is your business who cares what other people think of course, we all do care because that's just how we are, but, you know, it's none of our business. It's 
So I hope her little baby's feeling better today after surgery. I'm, I'm sure she will be. Um, what was I? I kinda want this right here. was I going to talk about? I had something I was going to say. Now I don't remember. I haven't had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> um, ooh, what's this? Color. Let's do some color. I'm really excited. Next week is my son's birthday. His, my youngest son. He's going to be 13. And we get to go to the beach for that, and that's his favorite place. My sister married, well, I, okay, so my brother-in-law, I should just say, his family has a house on the beach, and it's become a favorite place of my kids to go. I'm so grateful to his mother for always letting my family go and stay there because it's and you know, my kids feel very happy and safe there and it's kind of like a second home almost and it's a great way for my family to get together and stuff like that. We're going to celebrate Father's Day for my dad and Jackson's birthday and it's going to be fun. We were meal planning yesterday and oh my gosh. If we hadn't gained weight from quarantine, we're going to gain weight while we're at the beach. My goodness. They have my brother-in-law is an amazing amazing uh, cook and baker so he's gonna bake Jackson's birthday cake and he called Jackson and was like hey what do you want for your cake you know here's your options and you can have anything you want and oh, my son was just like what this is so great <laughs> I usually make my kids cakes and decorate them with a the theme that I'm doing their birthday for. Um, so it's a little weird for me to let go of the reins and let somebody else do something, but I know that my brother-in-law's cakes are fantastic and it made my son really happy that his uncle wanted to make his cake, so I'm gonna let go and let him have what he wants for his birthday. It wasn't easy, but I'm doing it. Hey, Missy Moo, what are you doing over there? Drinking some water. Yesterday I was spending time fussy cutting a bunch of stuff out for my glue book. My big mama jamma. Can't wait to work in that again today. I'm like totally obsessed with it. I'm having so much fun. I love it when you get that feeling where you just have something that you're like really excited to work in and I have that right now. It's been a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Dang, girl, you are thirsty. Goodness. making me thirsty. Should have brought my water in here. These are gold pieces from a candy wrapper. And I'm like, my husband knows me so well. He sees that I put these little pieces of 
wrapper set aside. He goes, are you saving those? I'm like, yes. He's <laughs> like, okay. Because I don't know if I mentioned this before, but my husband is a clean freak. So if you leave anything anywhere, he will take it and either throw it in the garbage. If you have a cup that you're drinking out of, he will put it in the dishwasher. He's a lot better now because it really irritates me and my kids and everything because we'll drink something and then maybe walk away to go to the restroom or something and we come back and it's gone. So he's a lot better about it now, but not, not totally better. So anyways, he... It was so nice of him to ask because he knows that I want to keep it. And then of course I came in here and used my bone folder and tried to take out, make it all smooth so I could glue it down. Oops, there we go. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Like, look at your surroundings and see, like this was just a candy wrapper that I was about to throw away and now I can use it in here to add some really cool color and definition. So you don't always have to buy pieces for your art to make it cool. Oops. I mean, not saying that my stuff is so cool. I'm just saying that using free, oops. Okay, what's going on? Sticking to my finger. Using free stuff when you can helps you be able to buy more expensive things that you want for art like Posca pens and all that expensive stuff that we can't live without I'm really eyeballing these um, I have been for a while now these foam stamps from Joggles and Brooke from Recreations by Brooke just got them the exact ones that I've been wanting so I'm sure she's gonna go live today at some point and play with them I'm so excited to see how they how they work and what they look like and stuff because then if I want to get them then I'd... I'll see if I like them which I know I will I can already tell that it will by the the pattern that's part of the reason why I made uh, the foam stamps that I made on my own because I liked the joggles ones and so I'm like well I'll just make make some of my own they are kind of spendy so that's why I thought oh if I just make my own you know I could save a little bit and they're fine I mean I like them I use my foam stamps all the time they're like you know they work great oh good he turned it off finally and then my dog starts snoring. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh, my fat farty dog. I think my son and I are going to go for a walk again today. That was so nice yesterday walking with him. For We did a mile, which is not a lot for some, but for me, it was really good with my fibro. I, I've been having like these back spasms, like a sciatica issue, where if I stand for too long or I walk too much, I get these sharp pains. And I bought this really nice... Um, massager that my husband's been so graciously using on my back at night and my my legs and my butt and stuff like that now he's addicted to it so he's like hey if uh, I massage your back for a little bit will you massage me I'm like oh, okay here we go so have to be a good wife and massage him although yesterday I got smart and I made my 13 year old just do it I'm like hey Go use that massager on your dad's feet. <laughs> Earn your keep. But it has been helping so much. I was able to walk that entire mile without having to stop and like stretch out my back. It would be like this pain that was so sharp. I'd have to stop and like, um, like bend over to get the pain to stop. I've never had anything like that in my life. I'm, I've always been really athletic and I mean, not so much in my 
the last years, few years of my life. But, um, you know, I, I played sports and I used to be a runner and all kinds of stuff. But man, fibro has kicked my butt. So it was really nice. And it's another nice day today, so that's good. I'm sure the boys will be barbecuing something. I'm going to stop right here and cut off Actually, this no okay hold up hold up wait a minute okay eh. what do I got going on here I'm having issues what's new um There we go. Okay. All discombobulated. Cut that edge off. And then I, so twinchies are two by two, but I cut mine at one and three quarters by one and three quarters because I like to use a black border on my stuff. Just. I don't know why I'm addicted to it. I do that for all my ATCs, and I'm kind of surprised I haven't been doing it for my ICADs, to be honest. Uh, let's see. That way I can decorate a few of these on camera. I can finish that other stuff later. Okay, I'm gonna cut off some of that. Well, that didn't cut great. Ugh. Back this way. I think I need a new blade. Save that for something else. Okay. So these four, I think I can get one more row out of this. Yep. And then I'll just finish collaging on that another time. so funny because people ask me all the time, does your pug snore? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does. Poor little smush face. Okay. Alright. Remove this. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have eight to work with. I want to add a little bit of gold to this one. I had a job interview yesterday too, so that's cool. Hopefully he, just the phone, kind of pre-phone interview thing, and then they'll call him for uh, an actual interview to come in, which is interesting. We have to, um, we were finally able, our county is moving into phase one of reopening finally starting tomorrow 
but everybody is required to wear a mask. Oops. Um, if you go anywhere. So if you go into any store, it is required. If you go to any doctors, go to anything, um, it is required to wear a mask, which um, everybody's been doing anyways. Most of the stores around here require you to wear, or not most, but a lot of them require you to wear um, a mask if you're going to come into their store. And a lot of our stores, um, you have to wait outside and they only allow a certain amount of people in at a time and you have to um, stay six feet apart and they have arrows in the stores where you know it's like one-way traffic walking through the store um, so it's just been so bizarre but you know let's keep everybody safe I'm sure this will be going on for a long time still trying to decide and they haven't decided yet whether or not our kids will actually go back to school uh, in the fall or do distance learning again or another option was going to so my son goes to um, a school where he only goes to school four days a week and they're longer days um, so they were thinking about maybe doing two days on two days off or something like that so like half the student body would go two days then the other half would go two days and then when you're home for two days you would do distance learning and then when obviously you know you're you're in class on those other two days so that might be an option too they're still trying to figure it out we're our um, cases keep going up here we have just had a lot of um, a lot of protesting and riots and type situations going on. So our numbers really started to climb again here. So we'll see what happens. What is this guy doing? Oh, look at me being that nosy neighbor. Tell you what, though, I don't know if you remember that video that I talked about that kid that let his dog poop in my yard. <laughs> Every time he walks by, he looks up at my, like, at my window. <laughs> I'm like, that's right. Clean up your poop. Walk your dog by real fast. He's actually a kid I know uh, that we've had some issues with their family in the past but he was very despite telling me that no his dog didn't do it when I sat there and watched and he was looking at the turd as he told me that um, he was really respectful so I was really respectful back and nice but stern and he cleaned it up and now he carries a little bag I'm happy to say he carries a little poop bag which he should have been doing in the first place okay so let's what do I want to put on these? Let's see. I'm not quite done. Oh, here, let me clean off my fingers real quick because it's sticking to all my stuff. I want to go out and look at my neighbor's yard and see what they were pressure washing. It looked like they were maybe pressure washing some paint off of something. Oh, okay, there's a cute little panda. Um... Ooh, I could do a butterfly. What's this? No. Oh, I have a little goat. What else do I have? It's little. Ooh, I have a little arrow. That's kind of cool. Use that. A little mouth. You know, I love those. We have a little treasure. It's kind of cool for the gold. There's a little couch. That's kind of random. Don't want that. Could do like a little question mark. A little bike sticker. I'm 
my goodness, Shami. Ooh, a wolf head. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh, here's a pickle. <laughs> Dill with it. Let's see, what else do I have that's random? I have some popcorn. There's another little butterfly I could use. Oh, there's a couple. There's a ferret. Oh, statue head. What's this? Another mouth, of course. 500 of those. Hmm. And this is why I really need to fussy cut more items. I've been using them all. But I also need to use ooh, some sushi. Who doesn't like some sush? I love it. I mean, not the raw fish kind. Hmm. All right, let's just start getting random here. I keep grabbing this brand new glue stick. Put that away. Put that away. Okay. I think I want the panda. I like that. Okay. Isn't it weird how your mind is like, no, no, no. Yep, that's it. Like, why does my mind say that? Does it really matter which one it goes on? Not really. Ugh. Gross. Goobers. Okay. A little towel. There's one that's partially done. I really like this wolf. I think I'm just going to put him on this one. He fits well there. Welcome to your new home. So guys, a lot of you have either bought the book that I had or bought similar ones, like my big uh, glue book that I've been working on. And a lot of you have been talking about starting one, which you guys, that makes me so happy. I hope you guys have as much fun as I've been having with mine um, and some of you were going out and buying magazines but I want to encourage you to ask your friends and family if they have any magazines laying around I mean most of us do even if they're free ones you get in the mail um, brochures catalogs um, if your library is open you can get free magazines there or really cheap ones you can buy them for like a dollar or something um, ours aren't open here yet but yours might be where you're at um, you can also ask your, uh, really, oh my God, this guy has like a leaf blower. I swear to God, it's bigger than he is. He's trying to put it on his back right now. He looks like a Ninja Turtle. Um, yeah, so, okay, we hear you. You don't need to pump it 500 times. Just do what you got to do. Men and their tools. I swear to God. Okay, um, now I'm all distracted. Anyways, yeah, you can use use the free stuff. I even look in like little flyers that I get in the mail. Um, you know, there's always words you can cut out or there's little animals or like a person or, you know, a beautiful flower that you can fussy cut out. So you just, you really have to train your, your eye and your mind to really look at everything and, um, you know, oh, do I want to use this ferret on here or do I want to save it for something else? Because he's so cute and he doesn't want... Really, I'm going to save him because he doesn't really fit. But I will use this guy. I don't like how this red has some white, so maybe I'll go like that. Maybe add a word. Or do I want to put him on one that's more colorful? Oh, I do like that. 
So make sure you use your resources and really get some of that free stuff before you go out and buy because magazines are so expensive anymore. Um, I also do what's called, it's a app called Recycle Bank. And you can go on there and answer questions. I don't know if it's international. I know here in the U.S., but you answer questions and you earn points. Um, you, you know, read some articles about recycling and then you earn some points um, that you can redeem for stuff. And one of the major things that you can get are magazine sub subscriptions. So a lot of these magazines that you see me get, I got from Recycle Bank. So I get all these magazines for free just for answering these questions about recycling. And that's called Recycle Bank. You can Google it. So that's pretty cool. Free is a very good price. So yeah, get your free magazine subscriptions through Recycle Bank and ask your friends and family. <laughs> I can hear my neighbor's kid out there. He's enthralled with the blower, I think. Oh, sure me had a little bark over it too. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I can hear him out there. Of course he has people come over really early because he has a toddler and a baby so he's already up he's probably been up since four what color is this Ooh, i think i like this one my husband will be happy that my neighbor's getting his yard in order it drives him nuts because he keeps our yard like perfect and our neighbor lets his go. But then once we get ours going, usually it kicks him in the pants to kind of get his yard done because it makes his lar yard lard, <laughs> makes his yard look even worse when ours is like pristine and his is overgrown. So that'll make my hubby happy. Okay, let's put all these. Didn't use my pickle. I'll save that for something else. I really wanted to use this arrow. Hmm. Okay, not sure about the arrow. All right, so now I need words. Let's see, where are my words? Ugh. Okay, usually today I'm just gonna use, Jesus. <sighs> Sorry guys, didn't mean to yell, but that really scared me. This is a crazy video, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. That guy like really freaked me out. Okay. I'm going to use beautiful and put that right there. Um, what could I use here? Um, I need kind of a smaller word. I think I'm just going to use love. I'll put that right there. Oh my gosh, it's crooked. <sighs> okay, I want something like, let's see. Um. Is funny on there or something that's like uh, attitude I'm just gonna put it up the side I normally don't do that but I don't know why just felt like it on that one Oh, I thought maybe treasure would be on here. Um, I 
Let's see. Oh, maybe adventure, because there's a treasure. Like the adventure of finding a treasure map and then going and finding the treasure. Adventure, ooh, the wolf. What do we want for him? Brave. These are like strong. Um, I think I'm going to do brave. Brave. Oh, he's a cutie. I need something cute for that one. Friend. Friend. What about this guy? Hmm. Inspire. Noble. I don't know. You guys are probably yelling at me to put something there. I just can't think of anything. I don't know, self, because it's a dude. Like, that doesn't make sense. I'm not a dude. Kind of act like a dude. Okay, let's put there. Some sushi. Um, I had one a second ago. I was already thinking that I saw this for. What was it? Put life because sushi is life. Vegan sushi, that is. It's eaten raw animals on this channel. Um, oh, I could put want. Oh, maybe I'll just do that. Want. I want some sushi. Get in my belly. Okay, so there we have that. Ta da! Now, I want to <clears throat> like how I have to grunt just to open a tiny little thing. Okay. Ooh, went a little heavy there. Okay. Can't wait to go to the beach and just sit there you guys and just listen to the ocean oh I love it so much sit there in peace and quiet although they're allowed to drive on the beach where we're at and it always freaks me out that I've almost been I, well I don't know if I actually almost was run over but I felt like it like it's terrified me because they they drive so fast and I, there's a speed limit but people just don't abide by it and you know we all have dogs we have dogs down there that are running around and then you got this car flying by or this truck on the beach and there's like so much space but I feel like they're always two inches away from you even though they have you know a football field between the ocean and the edge sandbar or whatever but I'm so excited my son asked me if we could go look for sand dollars in the morning which we've done in the past and if you go early enough they're out there so I might go do that because it's his birthday he wants to do it and I'm that kind of mom whatever you want to do um, what happened to my 
glue stuff. Tape. Glue tape. Where are you? Hi. Come back to me. Are you in here? Oh, I was sitting right in front of my face. How long is this video so far? Oh my gosh. This is a long one. This is going to take forever to load. Is my there it is okay I almost forgot to take the tape off of this There we go. So there's the first one. I'll do another one and then I'm just gonna cut this video short because this is gonna take forever and we're already at quite a, ooh, that was close. And then I'll post the rest on my Instagram for you guys to see. I'm getting shaky. Oh, the glue just came off on my finger. There we go. Get back on there. Nobody said you could leave. And I put this one on crooked. There we go. And there's the other one. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video short. Well, it's not short. It's actually very long, but I'm going to stop now and I'm going to finish these up, post them on my Instagram. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to enter my giveaway for a black and white journal if you haven't already and I'll put that link in the description box down below and you guys all have a really fabulous day thanks for hanging out with me while I created a little master board and made some twinchies I hope you had fun and till next time bye